Shalom, this is Sophia Amon Yutayak of Piscataway and Ameru Khan Maryam. And this video is to discuss a little bit for people who don't understand what coming out of the caves actually means. Um, I did another video on this that I have not posted yet because it goes into some other information that um, hasn't quite come up. But I did want to explain this part because I did not understand this. And I think if you don't understand this, like the storyline, then it doesn't make a lot of sense. And I'm going to try and go into it without going into too much. What does being out of the caves mean? Um, first, we have to go back and look at, um, I'm calling him scumbag lot. Yes, Abraham's uh, nephew was a scumbag. Um, he was a sexual deviant. Uh, among other things, okay, he had these two daughters who, in my opinion, were also some kind of weird. Um, they were virgins, um, the ones that lived, they were virgins, but um, they were still maybe corrupted in the mind from having lived in Sodom. Now, when Lot left Abraham, now remember, People from Sodom and Gomorrah are the ones who captured Lot in the first place. So Abraham had to do what? He had to go and rescue Lot. When he went to rescue Lot um, and, and, you know, restored him, what did Lot do? He went right back to his accusers. Okay, so if we fast forward, some of this stuff is going to be a repeat when you hear my other video. But let's just fast forward. Some of this stuff... Um, is is just wild. Um but we're just going to go through the story. Okay, so so the angels come, they you know, Sodom and Gomorrah gets scheduled for judgment. The angels show up. Okay. So Lot is hanging out on the wall of the city. What is he doing? Why is he hanging out there? Okay. So he sees these two men. Now mind you, this is a city where when new people come in, they torment and torture them. So Lot grabs these two men and says, come to my house. And then he feeds them. And then everybody's getting ready to lay down. And then the people, some people saw Lot bring these men in his house. And they come to his door and they start beating on his door, telling them to let those men come out so they could know them. As if they assume that Lot was in there getting to know them. What is that? That's weird. Okay, that's weird. So what does Lot do? He does not give these men over. Instead, he says, take my virgin daughters and do with them what you want. What is up with that? These are his daughters. He'd rather keep these men in his house than his daughters like I just want y'all to like think about that because that story is like a couple lines but it don't make no sense because what dad is going to hand over his virgin daughters to a mob of men to do with what they want Something is wrong here. So what happens? The angels. Now, Lot didn't know that these was angels. The angels smite those people with blindness. He tells Lot, look, you're going to have to get out of here. What does Lot do? Does he leave right away? Did Lot leave right away? No. He hemmed and hawed and hemmed and hawed and thought about it. And then... The angels picked him up and his family and took them out of there, much like they did in the Cabernagus, where they flew um, Menelik, um or David the son up out of um, that country um, and, and, and back to Baltimore. OK, so you have a similar situation here. The angels took them out of there. Now, when they took them out of there, what happened? The wife turned around, she turned into a pillar of salt. I talked about that in another video. Because that's kind of like, I don't think that's the way that that happened either. So what happens? 
Lot asked the angels, can y'all please let me go to Zoar, Z-O-A-R. And <clears throat> the angels had told him to go to the mountains. And he's like, no, let me go to Zoar. He gets to Zoar. I'm, a, I'm assuming he thinks he's going to do some more scumbag stuff. And I'm assuming that no one is there. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But it must have been really empty and really eerie. And so then they go into the caves. So this is Lot and his two daughters going into the caves. Okay. Why do I say that Zoar must have been emptied? Because Lot's daughters proceed to scheme to lay with their father. Because <clears throat> they say they did not see another living soul. <clears throat> Lot assumed that in Zoar there would be people and there were no people. So that means the daughter saw that there were no people. So they thought they had the, the flood um, imprinted on their mind. So they thought that what had happened in the flood had happened again because, you know, the, everyone knew that the Most High said that he wasn't going to destroy the planet by water again and that it would be fire next time and since they saw the smoke coming up from Sodom and Gomorrah they figured he smoked the whole earth just like what happened with the flood so that's when they conspired hey let's lay down where our father but here is the trick when you look for the explanation of this in a Talmud it says that Lot was awake when his daughter got up he wasn't still sleeping. First of all, I got to go back. I forgot this part. Where did they get wine from? Where, where did the wine come from? Like, seriously, where did the wine come from? So that's the first problem. Where did the wine come from? The second problem is where <clears throat> if Lot was awake when he uh, when his daughter rose up from him, why did he let the other daughter do it too? Like, why did he say, I'm going to get drunk again a second time and do the same thing again? Even though I know what happened the first time. So you got like a weird scumbag. I'm sorry. A uh, lot is he's looking kind of scumbagish, and his daughters ain't looking no better. Cause in the Talmud, because um, they're in the uh, uh, Ruth is a Moabitess and Moab comes from the caves. What did, and this is what it means by coming from the caves. That's the point of this video. Lot and his daughters lived in the caves. And I thought about this earlier. If Lot and his daughters lived in the caves, right? That means that. May, how long did they live in the caves before they found out that there were other people on this planet? So when their children came of age, it could be that this, the, the auntie slept with the nephew uh, across so that because they thought everybody was gone. And so how long did they live in those caves? We don't even know how long they lived in those caves before they decided to leave out and they found out that the, the planet was not unpopulated. Um, these do not seem like smart people. I'll be honest. Um, these do not seem like smart people. So when they say out of the caves, what they're talking about are the sons of Lot who lived. And that's going to come up again. Um, I might post another video later, later on today. But those are the sons of Lot. These are the ones who, um, who are persecuting us. Now we have, um, this is just in, uh, I'm, I'm alluding to my other video. We have, a we have identified one of these sons of lot. This would be, um, the professional victims unit, but there's a professional victims unit too. Um, a, a second professional victims unit that is also, um, doing these things to us that is going to be exposed and I'm not going to jump the gun on that, but I just wanted to let you guys know what that means coming at those who came out of the caves. These are the sons of Lot. And if you read Psalm 83, you will get a better idea of what I'm talking about. So shalom everyone and we'll see you in the next video.